All right, so hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome to the channel, welcome to my new sub. So today, finally the day, um, we're gonna get a new wheels and tires on, we're gonna put them on, we're gonna let you guys check them out, we're gonna talk about what's going on with the car, what we plan on doing this month, and then uh, our plans for August. So a um, couple, couple exciting things coming up. Um, first, let's talk about a, a product I'm gonna share, Megan Racing Ramps. They're two-piece ramps, and the reason why I bought them, because my car is so low, I have trouble getting the floor jack under the car. So we're gonna open those up. We're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna um, show you, how, you know, actually using them, and we'll let you guys check that out. So what's going on with the car? Um, we know we got a dyno coming, not planned yet. We're waiting to get the wheels and tires on, so that's step one. Step two is make, the, of course, the arrangement. It's gonna be at Strictly Performance. And um, they're going to install the coil packs. I got to check on labor. Haven't done that yet. Um, so we can do that all in one shot. We'll get it before and after because there's some things done to the car that it may dyno differently, have some different results from where we were. Um, and then definitely the, the uh, wheels are going to change things also. We'll get a control number and then we'll get the test number for the coil packs. So this month, Coming up, we got to Marshall uh, Cruise the Fountain. That was a big event last year. We hit it, we're hitting that this Saturday. Middle of the month, we got JJ DeBoss coming right here, um, US 131 Dragway, so that should be pretty exciting. And then NMCA is also coming July, I think 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Um, we'll get over there for a day, and I, I don't know if this is gonna happen, guys, but I really want to do try and race in my class. Um, we'll check that out and see what that is if the car is ready. Um, end of the month is uh, Mustang Week. I don't know if I can make it. I would love to go. My wife wants to go to Myrtle Beach. Neither of us have been there. We would go without the car, but it would be just fun to get there and check some things out and maybe meet some of you guys if you're there um, or some of the other uh, uh, Mustang peeps on uh, Instagram. So also remember to check out my Instagram account, Coyotes North. A lot of pics. Everything's on a car that is on the car are under my pics. So check that out. And then, um, yeah, well, check out these uh, racing ramps. The other thing we want to talk about, we're going to get the car logged on an IDS tool. We're gonna get the car locked on an IDS tool only because I let it idle, did a cold start, let it idle for 20 minutes and I got a bunch of misfire codes. Shop thinks we're running rich, so I'm done trying, trying diagnosing. I'm gonna let them take a look at it and see what's going on. I'm really not getting any more codes during the driving cycle as I did before since my flywheel change and clutch change. Clutch is doing well, by the way, and we'll talk about that in another video when we can send it um, 70 miles to go yet and again we were competing for mileage on this thing to get Moby Dick here trailered next week so um, let's see if we're missing anything um, August yes exciting stuff going on we are registered for M1 Woodward Dream Cruise on Friday. We'll be there all day Friday. A bunch of events going on, showing the car, gonna spend the night and then hit Mustang Alley on Saturday. So we'll get coverage of that for both events. So that should be fun, good stuff going on. And then um, I think that's it guys. I feel like I'm missing something. So let's check out these racing ramps and then uh, we'll actually um, you know, get the car up on it and then we'll get our wheels changed. We'll let you guys check that out. Now we went um, to a SVE wheel and if you've been following me, these are uh, 24.4 pound wheels. So we basically reduced about 10 pounds, maybe just under 10, nine, somewhere nine to 10 pounds of rotating weight um, from the car per side. And we're looking to gain maybe nine, 10 horsepower out of that so yes it's minimal but being an na car we're going to take whatever we can get so anyway so let's check out these ramps so these uh, are described as racing ramps they look a lot different in the photo
Um, I thought they were wider than they are. They're eight inches, but um, they're about $82 for the pair. I wanted to try a set first and see how they worked. Because like I said, I struggle with getting this car up and uh, I need something to help out with that. So let's see how these work out. I'll provide a link for you guys. Okay, these look a lot smaller in person than they do in real life. So the concept is get the car up on the wheel, remove this, and then you get to jack under it. So these will lift you three inches. I believe they're two and a half, yeah, two and a half ton capacity. So essentially you can put one, two in the front, two in the rear to lift the whole car up three inches. Now this would be good if you're doing some work on the car up front. Um, I'm a tall guy, I'm almost 6'2". So to get down work on that car is a pain in my back, I can tell you that. Not just a pain in my back, it's a pain in my ass too. So anyways, um, the car is a pain in my ass. Um, <laughs> Anyways, these look all right. So let's see how they size up to the wheel. We know they're gonna be smaller, but they are eight inches this way. Um, you know, the length, uh, forgive me, I don't know that. I wanna say 27 inches, but uh, yeah, let's check that out. So these are the SVE wheels, only available through LMR. These are a flow form, 24.4 pounds, a really nice wheel. I had them ceramic coated for protection and just to help keep them cleaner. But these are a real nice wheel, real nice wheel. Can't wait to put them on. So let's take a look. The wheel works. They're not as wide, but uh, for all practical purposes, we'll get come on get the car up i think it'll be fine for uh what we're gonna do so we will actually use these today to get the jack under the car so we'll get on with a cold start um with our badass MBRP axle back exhaust. Um, we just put them on a few weeks ago. Love those. Now my side pipes are still capped off. We do have plans for that. And by the way, that just reminded me, we are working on getting some shirts made for the channel. Hopefully you guys, you'll like that. It's gonna be Coyote Productions 302, All Boss 302. That's what this build is about. We're building All Boss 302. Basically using full bolt on parts, we'll be still using the Boss intake, not the Cobra Jet, the Boss intake to make our power, along with Boss racing cams. We have Boss heads that have been massaged, the bowls have been massaged, and um, we'll be using sock valve springs on that. So basically, Again, all boss parts with the exception of long tube cutters, your full bolt on things. I think you guys get it. And the tune, E85. So we're looking, how much horsepower are we looking to make? Um, 585, 90. My goal is to get to 600. We don't know if we're going to get there yet, but we're going to try. We're going to try. I'm calling it my Mustang Super Truck. All boss real tube. So once we get a design, um, I should hear back from the supplier in about three weeks. So excited about that. That's kind of cool. And then we got another uh, product coming for the channel. I've been uh, thinking about for a couple of years and uh, I'm just getting the pieces, I'm getting things together. I'm not gonna share what it is yet, but uh, so everything comes, comes into place. So let's get on with the cold start.
this is a front tire and uh, front tire is actually 27 the uh, Continentals are uh, just slightly shorter than those Nittos but just to take a look at the difference um, this is really gonna look tough on the car it's gonna look real good So just the front alone, take note guys, these wheels actually come right to the very edge, almost to the outside. You can see it just a little bit sticking out. It fills up that wheel well quite nicely. Now when you look at the Ford Stars, they're a little bit tucked in. So this is gonna give this car a whole nother stance whole nother appeal um, it's gonna look badass in my opinion I'm liking it already and then also the Ford caps I'll leave the part number in my description but these were also purchased through Alamar and uh, as you can see they look really good on the on that wheel really good all right we got the Rams in the rear now and the reason why we put it in the rear is these tires are going to squat me down probably half an inch maybe more and uh it's going to make it to where i can't get to my differential i usually lift on my differential with i got a low boy floor jack but or low profile i should say i won't be able to get to it so i'm going to drive up the ramps and we're going to do it that way and uh, let's check that Took a little feathering. But you know when you get into place, you can feel it. So the left is the Nitto 295-3520. And the right is the Continental Extreme uh, Contact Sport 285-3519. There's a big difference. It almost looks more than an inch. But that's going to squat the car down just a little bit more from where we're at. As you can see, this will get us back to a true uh, 373 gear with that diameter. So hey guys, um, a nice touch to the car, man. These wheels, to me, look badass. They speak race. Um, they look great. The Megan Racing Ramps, a nice add to the garage. It's it's just a helpful tool. Uh, I'm gonna get another set. I'll leave the link for you guys if you're interested. Interested. Um, a link to buy. Um, so yeah, check them out. Yeah, let's take a quick walk around in the car. Check it out. Now the tire definitely is shorter. It doesn't fill up like the 295 20s did, but car looks really badass. It just kind of sticks out. It gives it a wider stance. I love them tires too. Them tires are sticky. Let's take a look down the side. You can see, kind of fills out those fender wells. Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, makes it look like a race car now. Now, it gives us some room, actually, because these are adjustable. I can lower lower the rear down, and I can lower the front down if I want to get, um, get the car down anymore. But uh, let's see what it looks like from the rear. Tires look good. Another walk on the side. Nice touch to the car. Nice touch. Okay, hey guys, that wraps this video up. I hope you like it. Um, hope you like the channel. Hope you like what's going on here. 
Stick around, got more stuff to come. I gotta get rolling. I gotta hit a bike ride with my wife. Happy life. No, happy wife, happy life. Happy life, happy wife. <laughs> anyway, I think you get it. All right, man, take care, have a great day.